What's up guys, Casey from CGBMX here and I'm doing a video on important things to have in your camera bag or just, it's not really what I run in my camera bag, just what I recommend as a good setup and what might work for you. So the first part and probably most important is a camera. Now I have a Canon Vixia HFR600, it's a camcorder, it's actually very cheap. Um, a common misconception is that you need a very expensive high-end uh, camera for a camera to film YouTube videos, but this is like $200 and it films 1080p 60fps. I can put lenses on it, so you have an adapter ring on it now. And the battery lasts like an hour and a half and like almost two hours actually, and it's really good and I like it a lot. You could either also start out with something like a GoPro, that's what I filmed videos up till about January this year, so I most of our videos used to be filmed on GoPros. Uh, now they're mostly filmed on my camera, the Canon, or Gavin has the same one, and he has a Sony TBR TRV 900. And then every once in a while we still have a GoPro video, like a chest mount. So that's the camera we use. But you don't need anything fancy, actually. Like an iPhone works just great if you have one. So that's the camera, probably the most important part in your camera bag. Next thing I would say is. You definitely want a stabilizer or a handle of some sort. Shaky footage does not look good and it ruins the clip. So if you have just one of these, like this, even walking makes it so much better. This is just a cheap $10, $15 one off Amazon. Just look up camera holder or whatever and you'll find something like this. It's super useful and also has the mount for a mic on top. Which, speaking of the mic, I use this. You definitely don't need it. It just gives, like, if you have do a lot of talking, um, the onboard mic on a camcorder is very good because it's meant to record audio good. But I also use a microphone. Uh, it's the Rode Video Mic. I like it a lot. Um, has the wind filter on it too. So that's what it comes with. So that's what mic I use. You do not need a mic at all. Like Starting out, like I said, I use a GoPro, not even in the housing, and just walked like this. And you could probably tell this footage was shaky, audio wasn't the greatest, and it was windy. Definitely, microphone is a big recommended thing for me. Let's say you got a camcorder or even an iPhone, you want a lens for that, because you don't want it to look just like a stock image. Um, this is an Optica lens, it's one of the nicer fish eyes you can buy for this camera I have. It would focus, come on have to focus I'm filming on my phone see obviously you don't need a nice camera I'm just using my phone um, I can't get the cap off it um, gives the shot a much much wider look I'll show you here it's gonna be zoomed out at first and gonna look bad so oh yeah the thing on my camera is dead. Um, as you can tell it gives it a much wider look like see my hand compared to that and that's even closer so the fish eye I think for Filming BMX or skateboarding is a must have. Or a wide angle, which I started with, but definitely a fisheye. You can get them even for a phone for five or ten dollars online. This is the lens I started with. It was a wide angle lens. It's not the greatest lens in the world. It was like ten dollars. It works very good. It's a nice piece of it's a nice lens, but when you look like um if you, a specific video would be up ledge sesh. If you look into the sun, you can see lots of random lines from um, the lens picking up because it's not a nice piece of glass inside that actually makes it look like that. It's not the nicest in the world. So I would definitely, if you don't have the money, start with something like this. You don't want this, but it definitely works fine. Um, and it looks really nice. See like, oh, there's the doorbell. Uh, you don't want that to be following up clips like that because they'll be like, you'll see their wheel and that's it. But with a fish eye, you'll see their body. Next thing I carry in my camera bag is... What's up guys, Casey from C. Night shot, much night shooting, but when you do, it's nice to have. Um, this is dead or I'd show you, it just flashes right now. Dead. Um, but it's very, 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 very bright. So this just mounts on my handle too. Uh, one thing I think is overlooked a lot probably would be a microfiber cloth. It's definitely something you want to have in your camera bag. If your lens, are, if you're going up, you can see fragments in your lens. You're just, you're going to see that the whole time you're watching the video. It's just not good to look at. Camera bag. You can use a book bag. That's what I use for a while. But camera bags have all the slots for 
different things and straps and stuff. This one's like $25 on Amazon. Um, well that was what I keep in my camera bag and things that I recommend putting in a camera bag. So thanks for watching, drop a like, and look out for the daily uploads.